Hi there, I'm Dan Elder from Kidasa Software. Welcome to this tutorial about appending tasks during refresh from Microsoft Project. First, let's just see the options in the refresh screen. So I'm going to click on the Connections tab and click on Refresh Previously Imported Project and then Refresh from MPP and it will make me save my schedule. So I'll click Yes and then I'll click the MPP file that I want to refresh from. Open that. <clears throat> and the append options are right here, this append new tasks checkbox. So if you check that, it's just going to use whatever the default options are for appending new tasks. Uh, but if I click on customize, you'll see there's actually <clears throat> several options um, that you can use. So you can say all tasks, uh, which just means it's going to append anything that's missing, so it won't um, add these tasks since they're already on the schedule, uh, these milestones here. <clears throat> but any other unique IDs from project, it'll actually add them to the schedule. And as far as where it adds those tasks, you have a couple options there. So the default is at the bottom, so it'll just add all the tasks um, to new rows at the bottom of the schedule. Uh, but you can actually pick a number field if you want to assign those tasks to certain rows on your schedule. In my example, I've got three swim lanes here, um, so row one, two, and three. So I can actually use a number field um, during the refresh, and then I can have those tasks go on to whatever swim lane um, that I want them to. And another thing to note is you don't actually have to add all the missing tasks. You can also use a flag field. So if you had already flagged some tasks during a import, for instance, um, you can flag some additional tasks and then any missing tasks that also have this flag field set to yes um, will be appended to the schedule. And you can you know, either put them at the bottom or use that number field. And the final option is how those tasks are actually represented. So if you click on Customize Symbology, it's actually going to open up a window here and kind of show you how those tasks will come over to the schedule. Um, I'm not going to change this now. Let's go ahead and go into Project, and then I'll come back here and modify this. So I'm going to press Cancel. I'll just press Cancel. And I'm not going to refresh right now, so I'll press Cancel. And then I'm going to go over to the Project file. And you can see in this Project file, I've already flagged some tasks. So all of these tasks that I flagged should be the ones that are actually on the schedule. So let's go ahead and flag some additional tasks. Um, <clears throat> Let's say, for instance, I'll do this design internal layout. I'll press yes. And for the number, um, I'm going to actually put it on swim lane two. So I'll just say row two. Um, and let's see, I'm going to flag an additional task down here. It's prototype approval. I'll say yes. And I'll do that on swim lane three, just as an example. Um, actually, maybe I'll add an additional one. So I'll do this to bit materials. I'll say yes, and I'll put that on swim lane three as well. So we should have three more tasks um, kind of showing up to the schedule. So let's go ahead and go through that refresh process. So I'm going to go again, connections, refresh, previously imported project, refresh from MPP. Makes me save my schedule again. Always a good idea. I'm going to open up that schedule we've already got open in project. And I'm going to choose a pin new tasks here. And I'm going to go to customize. And I am actually going to use that flag field. Um, <clears throat> so in that, uh, in that project file, it was using that flag one field. And I'm actually going to use the number one field as well. So I've got that number one field in the project file as well that I'm using. And then symbology, I kind of want to just bring in the finish milestones uh, looking kind of like that. So I'm going to go customize symbology. And I'm going to turn off this start symbol and just say none. And then I'm going to select the finish symbol right here. So this is already set to finish, but um, I'm going to use this milestone down here. And all of these are invisible, so you'll see as I kind of scroll through these symbols, or just a bunch of invisible symbols, and then I get to this symbol 11, and I'm going to go to 12. So it's going to use that, um, <clears throat> that symbol right there. And I, I brought the name over on these other symbols, so I'm going to go ahead and choose name for the line one of the symbol text. 
and I'll go ahead and press OK. And this particular uh, project file does not have baseline information in it, so it's actually just not going to bring over this, uh, these baseline symbols um, or bars. So I can just ignore that. And I'll press OK. And everything is set up as I want it, and press OK. And I'll just make sure to uh, pin new tasks. Um, I'll have that checked. And I'll go ahead and press refresh. And then you should see uh, your schedule had some tasks appended. So it says refresh complete zero dates changed um, because all the dates were correct for the existing symbols. And then it says three tasks appended. Um, so those are the tasks that we added. So one on uh, row two and uh, I think two on row three. And that should have added anything that I had flagged that did not already exist on the schedule. Um, you can actually look at a list of the unique IDs being used on your schedule. It's a little known feature in the Tools tab. If you look at the Reports section, uh, we have the Symbol button right there, and you can click on Symbol Tags. And so now you can actually see you know what unique IDs are being used so you can see the unique ID part of the tag so if something didn't get added um, and you think it probably should have um, you can look at this and um, look at your schedule and try to figure out you know which which task is missing which task should be there um, and so on there might be like an invisible symbol um, that you didn't notice that um, has a unique ID on it um, so that might be the reason that something did not get added when it should have. Again, that's in the Tools tab if you click on that Symbol button and go to the Symbol Tags report. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial about appending tasks from project during a refresh. Um, you can visit our website at kidasa.com and email support at kidasa.com with any questions. Have a nice day.